I mean, Will gonna be so broke, he have to move back with his auntie and uncle in Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, black is here. I want y'all to check out my new printer. All right, guys, black is here. I want y'all to check out my new printer. It is HP Envy 4455E. Okay. What did I just say? 44, I meant 6455E. Anywho, the only reason I have a printer here, it is a Ken printer, Canon printer. I don't know what model it is. Uh, I think it's a 250. Yeah, it's a Pixma MP250. Now, this printer works fine. There's no problem with this printer at all. But it won't work with my new HP laptop. I went online. I made a video talking about this. I went online. I tried to get the drivers. And because my new printer, I mean, I'm sorry, my new laptop does not have a CD-ROM. So I went online to try to get the drivers. And they don't have drivers for Windows 11. Basically, my Canon printer is old. Too, too old to hook up to my new laptop. Now, I've had this printer for probably... 10 years, I think. I think I had it for like 10 years. I mean, I don't use printers that often. I just, I probably, I probably use them the most when I damn do my taxes because I print out the paper or whatever. And this is when I last bought some ink. Two years ago, when I last bought some ink. Well, anywho, I decided to buy a new printer. So I went to Best Buy. I bought this one for like a hundred and sixty-eight, hundred and eighty some dollars. That one, I think I paid like forty dollars for that thing over there. And right after I bought it, I wished I had gotten one with Wi-Fi and wireless printer, all that stuff. I don't know that they have that out back then, but I just bought. I think I spent like thirty bucks for that thing. If it wasn't thirty, it was no more than fifty. Well, in any case, this sucker here was a hundred and I think hundred and eighty something dollars. It's wireless and well I guess I should cover that up. It's wireless and what else? It's wireless. Anyway, oh what I was gonna say was this. When I got home, the guy told me that I had to go online, turn it on, go online. And get the drivers or whatever, right? So I went. Well, actually, the little direction paper tells you exactly what to do. You know, number one, pretty simple. Number two, plug it in. Number three, go to HP. Well, go to one two three dot HP dot com. The problem I had was it kept sending me this other website, something about. The, um, download direct or some bull crap kept popping up and it had nothing to do with HP. So the first time I did, you know, I uninstalled it when I realized that it wanted me to put in my credit card. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't, I shouldn't have to buy the damn drivers. So I clicked off of it. Right. And I tried it again and I managed to find the HP website and I got the drivers for free, of course. And it was amazing. I mean, once I got the drivers, it uh, it said to turn on the laptop. I mean, turn on the printer. And it did everything. It connected to the Wi-Fi by itself. Um, it did everything, pretty much. You know, I mean, it was amazing. But you just have to make sure you... Stay on the HP website. Because like I said, the first two times it went, it sent me to so something else popped up. Something else popped up. But um, I mean, it works fine. I printed it last night. I don't think it's a way to cut the damn thing off. 
Actually, I, I think it's off. You know, it's got this little light here, but I think it's off. And it comes on whenever you want to print something. I mean, just like, like I said, this was a, a copy of my last mortgage payment. And that's something else I've been wanting to get copies of a mortgage payment. I wanted to put them on paper, but I never could get that printer to work. Now I could, okay. When I want to print something on my new laptop, it will save it. I could email it to my own uh, email address and then get the email through my old HP laptop. It works with that, but that just seemed like too much of a hassle, right? But anyway, so what am I going to do with this printer? I just keep it. Like I said, it works fine. It's got ink left in it. Um, I don't know. It might be worse. I'm going to tell you something I like about it. I'm going to tell you what I love about this printer. When you get ready to print something, this door pops open. That I always love that. I mean, I don't, I remember I had, I had some little gay guy over here. And you know, gay, gay, gay men swear they know everything, All right? He's over here. Oh, you ain't even opened up the door. And I'm like, I closed the door back. It ain't going to print out if you don't open the door, man. Leave me alone. When you get ready to print, it pops the door open on its own. And like I said, this is the, the driver, but my new laptop doesn't have a um, port for that. And what is this? This is, hey, this is how old it is. I bought black ink um, September 11, 2015. Now this right here, I bought both of them in 2020. But again, it was what, almost five years? It was five years before I needed ink. That's how little I print. But when I need it, I need it. And look at all the buttons on this thing. And on that one, you, I mean, it's not, it's touch screen, but it looks like it's only got a few of those buttons. Oh, by the way, when you want to scan, ooh, you lift this up when you want to scan or check this out. This is what I like. You can, Feed paper in like that. Ain't that a trip? That one I have to, you know, put. Well, actually, well, yeah, I have to put the uh, paper in. Also, where you load paper, you pull this out. Sweet, ain't. Well, I think that's it. Uh, oh, where well, you put the ink in. You have to lift this and lift this. Oh, I guess I can't lift it. Heavy. That's where you put the ink in. Isn't that sweet? So how long will it last? Hopefully as long as the um, cannon. Yep, hopefully as long as the cannon. Anyway, this is Dre. If you have any questions or comments, um, please leave them. Y'all have a good day.